Today we start with Conor McGregor who reacts to brutal 6 second knockout in bare knuckle fighting championship. Before we start don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with daily MMA news. UFC legend Conor McGregor was visibly shocked after witnessing a brutal knockout that happened in just 6 seconds during a bare knuckle boxing fight. In the BKFC Ruben Mar is the defeat lightweight opponent Robbie Peralta. McGregor has a partially ownership stake in his fighting organization. A few seconds into this fight former UFC star Peralta was knocked down by a 1-2 punch from the fighter from Kentucky. Mar's looping right hand hits his fellow American fighter square on his chin, prompting the referee to immediately stop the fight. Surprisingly, this quick win is the third fastest in the history of BKFC. Mecca, who often shares BKFC content on social media, was, was quick to comment on this recent impressive knockout. Talking to X, McGregor said, 6 second KO in a bare knuckle fighting championship main event last night. Our combatants do not start in the traditional red and blue corners before the bell rings, they stand right in front of each other in the center of the ring. Behind enemy line, accuracy is final. He then reacted further by simply posting an exploding head emoji in reply to the knockout. Did you watch the fight? Write down what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. We go on with John Jones who confuses fans with his bizarre posts on X. To set the last press conference, Dana White talked in the best tones about John Jones as the pound for pound champion and also his biggest headache to that time as he referred to. John Jones has never lost. And like I say, the most amazing thing about John Jones, you can say whatever you want about him, his his uh, lifestyle outside the octagon. It's not like this guy was, you know, checking, you know, had the greatest nutritionist. And listen to me, I'm not defending John Jones. You know what I mean? John Jones has been one of my biggest headaches in, 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 in the entire time that I've been in this company, right? John Jones left fans confused with his latest posts on X before quickly deleting them. Jones is aiming to come back from an injury, which is likely to be against Stipe Miocic. The UFC heavyweight champion pulled out of UFC 295 title defense against Miocic after injuring his muscle. Bonds recently confirmed he would return in November, although no official announcement has been made. Fans are desperate to see Jones fighting against Tom Aspen and Alex Pereira. That all depends on Jones making a return, but his following post on X raised concern. One post shows Jones saying he was getting half of his finger cut off, sparking reaction from fans. Also the next post after it made it more confusing. Do not call me, do not come my hand. Use a big 7-7 stop before it starts. No. Fans and fighters immediately wrote after the post on X. Let's see some reactions of them. This should be fun, long night John. Patty wrote. Are you okay? Uncle Nell wrote, you good champ? Another user wrote, okay now we worry it. This you meant to send this to Dana. Fans shots are always better, I feel you champ. Let's see how this night will turn out of John Jones. The last comment, listen to Eminem's new album. What do you think is going on in John Jones life right now? Comment it down below. Next we go on with Alex Pereira who dismisses Aspinall and invites Adesanya to train together. After his last win over Yi Prohaska, he's officially the man in the UFC right now. He earned a lot of money and fame with his spontaneous fights he agreed to and the way he saves the UFC cards after a lot of fights have been injured last minute. Chael Sonnen is more than impressed by his performance and said this. This has never done, been done before in sport. You, you don't have anybody. I could just stop you right there to show you it's never been done in sport. You have more observation. You have more things about Pierre that are unique that we're missing. Call him out. I'd be very curious if you see something that I've missed. The Brazilian superstar is the clear champion of the light heavyweight division and everyone is talking about him. In fact, Poten has made a video for his YouTube channel where he talks about the issues his fans are most worried about to clear up any questions about his plans for the near future. He started off discussing Magomed Ankalev, who is expected to be his next opponent in the light heavyweight category. Ankalev, a Russian fight, has been confident lately, claiming he doesn't need to resort to grappling to defeat Pereira. But Pereira, the Brazilian fighter, has cautioned him about what he might face in the upcoming match. These are people trying to belittle me, saying they will knock me out. But I am training, evolving, every fight will be harder for them, he said. Pereira trains with Glover Teixeira, former champion of his division and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. Many fans had urged Poten to move up to the heavyweight division to make history as the first fighter ever to hold titles in three division weight classes. Besides defending his current belt, he not only acknowledged these requests but also outlined the specific conditions under which he would consider making the move. I'm not interested in Tom Aspinall. I'm 37 years old. It doesn't make sense for me to fight for the interim title. If I move up to heavyweight, it's to fight for the real belt. I don't care if John Jones has it or whoever, but my goal is that belt. Alex said in the 
that video. I went on to say this about Adesanya's upcoming fight. I hope Adesanya wins because he has a beautiful story. I'm here, I'm supporting him. I already fought him, I'm not going to say he should lose. I'm not mad at him, I don't hold a grudge, as I said. If someday it is possible to train with him, exchanging knowledge, I would love it because who knows him says he's good heart, Alex confessed. Israel on the other side talked shortly about his respect for Alex and what he did. Look, people think I'm I'm not a hater, man. I'm a guy who we're all in this game together, right? We're all trying to better our, our lives for our family and all and generations and all that. And he's achieved it. Next, we have Rose's spectacular victory over Tracy Cortez. Rose demonstrated once again that she's a strong competitor in the flyweight division. In the main event of UFC Denver, she put on a great performance against Tracy Cortez. Rose displayed all her skills and abilities, impressing the judges enough to win by unanimous decision. The scorecard showed her as the clear winner, with scores of 49-46, 49 46 and 48 47 in her favor she said this after the fight oh absolutely i'm happy with that i'm happy with one having very little injury two being able to win and then three i felt like it was a pretty exciting fight i want to finish of course like it's been a while since i finished somebody so of course i want to finish but uh yeah overall very happy she went on to say, I knew she was going to be really tough. I think I should have maybe just left her up after the knockdown, but she was good at getting her guard. And her wrestling was really good. I was hesitant to wrestle too much, but I just kept feeling successful there. I just kept going to do it. We go on with pros who react to Abdul vs Cody Brundage ending in controversial no contest. Cody Brundage has experienced a very unusual year, and on Saturday night another remarkable chapter was added to his story. In the UFC Denver event, Brundage fought Abdul Razak Al Hassan in the middleweight division. Al Hassan, known for his powerful knockouts, aimed to finish the fight early. He managed to stop Brundage's takedown attempt and then landed several damaging elbows that hurt Brundage badly, despite warnings from referee Dan about hitting the back of Brundage's head. Al Hassan continued with his hard punches and elbows. Bows. Shortly after the warning, Al Hassan struck Brundage again in the back of the head, causing the fight to be paused. Brundage utilized the full 5 minute recovery period allowed, but the doctors ultimately decided he couldn't continue. As a result, the fight was declared at no contest. Apart from this incident, Brundage fought at UFC 300 against Bo Nickel and scored a slam knockoff victory over Zachary Reese. Following the match, UFC fighters shared their reactions to the sudden stoppage. Al Jermaine Sterling wrote, What are the odds Brundage ends up in two fights with illegal elbows to the back of the Hat crazy. Dominic Cruz, Brundage is asking his corner for direction. He needs to decide if he wants to keep fighting or not. It would mean a no contest if he decides not to continue. Terence wrote, Yo, he better finish the fight. He walked just fine when he said stand up, no wobble, nothing. Bra. UFC commentator Michael Bisping also took a second to talk about Cody. Cody Brundage is a great guy. He's had some tough results lately, hasn't he? He's very talented, though. Cody Brundage is really, really talented. Don't let the record fool you. Yeah, so he's very spotty lately. So no contest to Abdul. Lost to Bo Nickel. That was a tough one. They're not easy guys to, to beat or to fight. What do you think about the reactions? Write it down. And what is your opinion on John Jones and his latest post and also his future possibilities in the UFC? Do you believe he will have a comeback or is it over for his career? Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos here. We're interested in your opinions, so please take a second to write them down. See you in our next video. Take care.